Hello all of my darling divas and welcome to day number three of No Minus Plus Week and today I'm going to be giving you guys a tag. There's going to be two tags, one today and one tomorrow and this tag video is going to be the 20 things you might not know about me vlog tag. Now I found this tag randomly online and it looks like fun so I figured I would participate and although 5 is our magic number and not 20, I figured I'd do it anyway. As you can see, I'm wearing the No Minus Plus colors all this week, which are cheetah black and pink. So I got my cheetah blazer on, I got my pink eye makeup, and I have my No Minus Plus t-shirts, which are available which are available for, for pre-order right now. I will leave a link down below. Um, I'm ordering a new batch next week. So you are able to pre-order them if you would like to before I put up the big announcement about them. Um, also by you pre-ordering it lets me know how much I should order. So if you would like a No Minus Plus t-shirt, um, hello? So if you would like a t-shirt, pre-order yours today. I will leave the link if you need a, another size. I will have large through 2x available. If you need a smaller size or a larger size, then you could just leave me an email. I will leave the email somewhere here on the screen. You can leave me an email and I will be sure to accommodate to you in the best way that I can, which is why you should definitely pre-order so that I know what I should order for you guys. Um, but yeah, you can pre-order um, starting today and um, I will order the t-shirts next week and then I will ship them out as soon as I get them. So, I will keep everybody updated, so if you want to pre-order t-shirts, then you can pre-order them right after you watch this video, and they will be available to ship um, within a week or two. So, yeah, let's get into the video. Question number one, how tall are you? Ooh, okay, well, I am 5'11". I'm tall. I'm a tall girl. I've been tall forever. I've been tall my whole life. I've never been short. I've always been tall. Um... And I've been 5'11 for a long time. Like, I've been 5'11 since, like, 8th grade. That's terrible. That's so terrible. But, like, I'm going to be this height forever. And I'm, I'm fine with that. Like, I'm fine with my height. I'm okay with it. I've accepted it. When I was younger, I used to hate being tall. I wanted to be short. But now I'm cool with this. So, shout out to all the tall girls. Like, where you at? 5'11. Like, yes. Two. Do you have a hidden talent? If so, what? Um, hidden talent? I would say I guess my hidden talent is that I can sing. And it's a hidden talent because I don't tell people that I can sing. I just don't be out here saying, hey y'all, I can sing because, you know, I just happen to know how to sing. Um, I actually have a couple of singing videos up here on YouTube. If you guys want to go check those out, I put them up like years ago. Um, but I did a little dibble dabbling in the singing videos back in the day. They're a little okay. I sing a, I sing a little bit better now. But um, yeah, I can sing. I used to sing a lot in high school. I used to be a lead vocalist for the jazz band. I used to be in the choir. I used to do a lot of solo stuff. I used to sing all the time in high school. But then when I got in college, there weren't as many opportunities for me to sing. And I just lost the passion for it. So I just was like, eh. It was just fun in high school. So I just did it in high school and high school only. So I guess that's a hidden talent because I don't tell people that I can. But yeah, I hold no, girl. I hold no. Um, fact number three, what's your biggest blog-related pet peeve? Okay, um, my, my biggest blog-related pet peeve is not being able to blog on the go. So the blog um, domain that I use is under Blogger, and the Blogger app is complete trash. Like, you can't really, like, post things and, and make them the way that you would on the computer. And I really hate that. Like, I really positively hate that because, like, I have to make sure that my blog is on point before I leave the house if I want to post, like, at a time that I'm outside the house. And I hate that. Like, I should be able to blog and just, like, post pictures and go, like, wherever I am. So I don't really need them to update the Blogger app. Like, I should be able to do what I do on my laptop, on my phone. What I do is I try to do it, like, through Safari and, like, try to do it online. But it's just not the same. Like, you just can't do the same picture placement and the same video stuff. Like, like, it's just not the same. And I need to be able to do the same thing on my laptop or on my phone. I have a smartphone. Why are you acting dumb? Like, I hate the Blogger app. 
I hate that I can't do things like on the go like I would like to. Like I literally have to schedule posts. That's not a problem for me to, be, to, be, to have to do that. But um, I just wish that I could be able to create stuff on the go. So blogger needs to update the, um, the blogger app game. Like I need y'all to get 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 with the get right. Like, bro. Thank you. Um, <laughs> question number four is what's your biggest non-related pet peeve? Okay, my biggest non-related pet peeve would have to be when somebody cuts me off. Like when I'm speaking. Don't do don't do that. Especially if I let you complete your sentence and your full thought. Like, don't cut me up. And I know that I, I know that I possibly have a tendency to do it to other people because I, sometimes I get like so excited with what I'm talking about or with what I have to say that I cut people off. And it's not my friends that do it so much. It's like it's always somebody that I don't really know. And I think that's why I get so like aggravated because like first of all, you don't know me. Why you cut me off like that? But I, that's because a lot of things like aggravate me. I'm just annoying with that. Also, I don't like when people like correct other people's grammar like obviously you knew what I was trying to say like so why are you being extra like when somebody makes a mistake and says like conversate instead of converse like you ain't gotta correct homie and be like it's, it's converse like okay but you know what they was trying to say like okay like relax like you ain't gotta you ain't gotta put them on, on, on blast like that okay we know it's converse all right we know it's not conversate some people make mistakes, all right? We ain't all perfect. Like Jesus, I, I can't stand when people do that. Like, cause I feel like, so like I feel like when people correct other people's grammar like that, I feel like you're trying to embarrass them and trying to make yourself appear that you're smarter. And it's different if somebody asks to be corrected, or it's different if somebody asks, "Hey, what does this mean?" Or if what is, what does you know? Did I say this right? You know, it's different if somebody asks you for you know for, for you to correct them but when you just out here correcting people and whatnot it's just like aggravating and I I really try to catch myself if I do it but I don't think I do it like I kind of just put it in my head like oh they said that word wrong but it's in my head like okay but I know what they meant though so why am I making a big deal so yeah that's my those are my two biggest pet peeves um what's my favorite song right now my favorite song is Focus by Ariana Grande dopeness like the beat the video is awesome I like that her hair color has changed because I'm so over that brunette ponytail and I'm not really a big Ariana Grande fan um but like there are just a couple of songs that I love from her like I love the way when that song came out I was obsessed with it and pretty much that's the only song that I really like from her and I like this one so Focus by Ariana Grande has been on repeat in my Spotify for pretty much like since it came out and I think it came out like what the week of Halloween so it's been on repeat since she dropped it. I saw it on her Instagram because I was on the explore page because I don't follow her Instagram because I'm not a fan like that but that song I'm a fan of it so Focus is my favorite song right now. Right now. Six. What is your favorite Etsy shop that isn't yours? I don't really shop on Etsy so I'm going to skip that. Um, seven. What's your favorite way to spend your free time when you're alone? I like to watch Netflix. Yeah, I like to watch Netflix. When I have free time, like when it's my day off and I'm like, and I have already recorded my videos and I'm just chilling, I watch Netflix. I, I love Netflix. It's the best invention that has ever been made, besides Uber, because Uber is also life. Um, I watch Netflix right now. I am watching not only Netflix, but Netflix DVDs. This is actually my, um, what is this? I'm watching Sex in the City. Um, this, I'm on season four. Okay. Oh my God. So Netflix DVDs. I'm watching Netflix DVDs and Netflix while I wait for my DVDs to come to mail. It's ridiculous. So right now on Netflix streaming, I'm watching Melissa and Joey, which was a show that came on ABC Family. It's a, it's absolutely funny. And then before that, I was watching Young and Hungry, which is absolutely funny. And then before that, I was watching Jane the Virgin. So I'm trying to figure out where was I when all these TV shows were on TV actually. But I'm always late with TV shows because I don't watch TV because I'm always watching Netflix. It comes around full circle. And I'm always being put on to new shows because I, I catch up on them on Netflix. Then I'm like, yo, how come I never watched it or heard about it on, on TV because I never watch TV because I'm always watching Netflix. That's how they get you. But it, it's really, I love Netflix. I really, really do. 
Um, what's, well, what's your favorite junk food? Question number eight. My favorite junk food is ice cream and french fries. Ice cream and french fries is bae. My favorite ice cream in the world is strawberry ice cream. Holding me down since 92, okay? That's my favorite ice cream in the world. But I'm not, you know, I don't judge. I like all types of ice cream, but that will forever be bae. And then french fries. I love french fries of all types. All types. Curly fries. Fries. I don't really like sweet potato fries, but I will take that if no other fries are available. I like to dip them in various dipping sauces. I like to dip in various, um, you know, uh, fast food places. But I'm trying to get right with the get right so that I don't really eat a lot of fast food and a lot of junk food like that. But when I am having a cheat day, I do like to lean towards fries. Anything with fries. But I do love fries and ice cream. Those are my two top junk foods. Question number nine. Oh, my nose is itching. Do you have any pets? If so, what kind and what are their names? Well, I have a dog. A dog, like I'm from New York or something, or from Boston. I have a dog. Oh, my nose is like, oh. I have a dog. My dog's name is Coco. My dog is a mixed breed. He's a Shih Tzu and a Poodle. But I actually don't know what he is anymore because he has had table food and he's huge. So... I know he's mixed, but I'm just not sure what he's mixed with. And the doctors don't know what he's, what, are not sure what he's mixed with either. So, yeah, I got a dog named Coco. And I love him to death, but he just pees on everything and he's aggravating. And he just, yeah, but, but I love him. But that's the only pet that I have. I don't have any more pets. I only have one dog. Question number 10. What are your number one favorite nonfiction and fiction books? Um, well, I don't do a lot of... And it's funny because I was just talking about this with my best friend Devon on Halloween when I saw him. I don't really get to do a lot of leisurely, is that the word? Yeah. Leisurely reading, casual reading, because I am in college and I am an English major, so I used to have to read a lot of books for school so I didn't leave time to do, like, you know, casual reading. But now that I'm about to graduate and now that I'm not reading as much for school, I'm now able to pick up books and read and stuff. So now I'm trying to get back into reading, so I don't really have any books that I'm reading right now but I really want to get back into reading because I really used to love it obviously before you know the education system killed the love of reading for me um so if you guys have have any um type of great books that I should be reading or any book suggestions please leave them below and I'm sure check them out because I really am trying to get into reading um because I really did used to love reading like back in the day I used to really be into like mystery stories and science fiction and stuff like that and I really am still into that kind of stuff but now unfortunately I just watch movies like that and I don't read like I used to but I want to be able to so now that I'm getting older and now that I have a little bit more time to read and it's not all reading just for school I want to get back into reading books so if you guys have any series or any books that you want to recommend for me to read or look at leave them down below and I'll be sure to check them out um, question number 11. What's your favorite beauty product or tool? Jesus. That's hard. Like, who, who put this? What kind of question is this? I don't know. Um, my favorite beauty product is my Nivea face cream. Because it makes my skin feel like butter. Absolutely love this stuff. Like, it's just life. And I talked about this in my beauty in my beauty basics um, prep and remove video, the first one, how awesome this stuff is. It's life. So, yeah, I would definitely say it's my favorite product because I can't live without it. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have it. So, that's my favorite beauty product. Um, number 12, when were you last embarrassed? What happened? I don't really get embarrassed like that. Um, reason why is because I'm a very careful, a very safe person. Um... I don't really be out here like that, y'all. Like, I really be in the bed or at work. So, I don't really get embarrassed like that. But, there was this one time a couple of months ago where my grandmother, my grandmother has trouble walking. So, she asked me to run an errand for her. So, she tells me to go into the, she told me, we pulled up to this, to this lady's house. And she says, okay, go into the house and give this lady this bag. She was giving this lady a birthday gift. She said, go into, the, go into the, this lady's house and give her the bag. She said to just go inside and put it on the table. I said, I don't got to ring the door, but I got to knock. She said, no, just open the door, go inside and put it on the table. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I open the door, 
and I go inside the house and it's a couple making out on the couch and I'm like oh I'm so sorry and I like turn around and I go outside and I'm like my face is like beat red so the guy comes outside like oh um are you here looking for miss like da 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 and I was like yeah um she told me to just walk into the door and put the gift on the table like oh I'm sorry and I kind of like handed him the gift and like ran back to my grandmother's car like I was mad embarrassed but that happened like months ago like, I don't even think that happened this year that might happen last year but I was super embarrassed because it was like going ham on the couch and here I am interrupting a love moment but y'all really shouldn't leave the front door unopened like get a room but my grandma told me to go and open the door she told me to just open the door and put it on the table but I should have known to ring the doorbell first I should have known to ring the doorbell first but I was embarrassed but it happened like a year ago it had to be a year ago like had to be yeah I think it was last year but that was the last time I was embarrassed like I was super red like my feeling oh, like, oh I'm so sorry <laughs> I thought that they were going to beat me up. Like, question number 13. If you could only drink one beverage besides water for the rest of your life, what would it be? Are we talking about alcohol? Or does it have to be a drink? Um, if I could drink one drink for the rest of my life besides water, I would drink vanilla Coke. Because vanilla Coke is life. And I don't even drink soda like that. But vanilla Coke is the best. And I, I have to stay away from it because I can drink it forever. But I would drink vanilla Coke for the rest of my life if I could because it's just so freaking great. And if we were, and if we could pick an alcoholic beverage, I would choose Hennessy. It's a little ratchet, I know, but I like what I like. So, you know. And then if, if we could mix it, Henny and Coke go together. So, you know, boom. There you go. <laughs> um, question number 14. What's your favorite movie? Ooh, my favorite movie in the whole entire world, please do not laugh at me, is Bad Boys 2, starring Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. That is my favorite movie ever. I know all the words. That movie will never get old to me. I will never ever be tired of it, of that movie. I can watch that movie all day. I have it on DVD. I love I actually might watch that movie after I finish recording because it's that great. Bad Boys 2. I do like Bad Boys 1, yes, but not as much as I love Bad Boys 2. That is my favorite movie in the whole entire world. Question number 15. What were you in high school? Prom queen, nerd, jerk, jock, blah, 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 blah. Okay, um, I really don't know because in my school, we didn't really have labels like that. We were all just chilling in high school. I guess you could say I was a theater, like I guess you could say I was like a thespian musician type person because I was always in a play or always singing on stage and like that so I guess I was a thespian but like I said in my school we didn't really like label ourselves as nerds or jocks or cheerleaders or whatever you were just who you were and then and everybody was kind of just chilling with everybody like we was all just kicking it and if somebody didn't like you they didn't like you because of, of what you were they didn't like you they didn't like you High school for me was mad chill. Like it had drama, but not because of what clique I was in. Like like on the movies. Like I don't know whose high school that is, but it's not the high school that I went to. <laughs> um, question number 16. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? I would live in Dubai. It's beautiful there. Like I that is my dream place that I want to be. I told my mother the other day, like when I when I when I get old and fabulous and retire I'm gonna retire and live in Dubai because like it's just fabulous and just amazing there and that's the, the best place that I want to be question number 17 PC or Mac hmm well I have a mixture of products so I want to say that I'm PC because I use a PC but then I have an iPhone so I don't know I guess I'm PC I guess um, 18. Last romantic gesture from crush, date, boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse. Um, I do not have one of those. I'm single. So, the, the last romantic gesture that somebody did for me was my dad brought me pizza yesterday. And that was very romantic because I was hungry. So, shout out to you, dad, because you're number one in my life. And you know what I like. And I like to eat. And so he brought pizza home for the family. So that's the last romantic type gesture. The closest thing to a romantic gesture that I've had in a very long time. Because I'm single. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
19 favorite celebrities um my favorite celebrity I, my favorite male celebrity is Chris Brown I love Chris Brown I'm a Chris Brown fan for life I've been a Chris Brown fan since 2005 um and my favorite female celebrity um I guess my favorite female celebrity would have to be Beyonce and I know that these are very typical answers especially typical answers of a black female but I can't help but like who I like and those are my two favorite celebrities um yeah and 20 what blogger do you secretly want to be best friends with I want to secretly be best friends with Gabby Gregg I want to be best friends with Nadia I want to be best friends with Shantae I want to be best friends with um with with Goldie I want to be best friends with just basically everybody who I met at KirbyCon. I want to be best friends with. And since I took a picture with all of them, I figured we're best friends anyway. I want to be best friends with Chassie. I want to be best friends with everybody. But basically, like mainly, my blogger crush is Gabby Gregg because she inspired me to start my blog. So definitely she is my blogger. Like, she's my, my blogger Jesus. So, yeah. So that wraps up the 20 questions tag 20 things you may not know about me blog tag I hope you guys have had fun with this video I have fun answering these questions this is day 3 of Noana's Plus Week please be sure to come visit me tomorrow for another video it's going to be day 4 and then we wrap it up with day 5 so hope you're tired of seeing me this week don't worry it's only 2 days left just bear with me okay just, just bear with me so I'll see you guys tomorrow at 5 I love that I say turn the tots and see you soon.